Hello everyone, in this video we have 2y is equals to root under 2y plus 5 plus 1. We have to solve for y. So let's start. First of all, we can write 2y minus 1 is equals to root under 2y plus 5. We have subtracted 1 from both sides. Now we will take square both sides. So squaring both sides. So from this we will get a minus b whole square which is a square. 2y square is 4y square uh, minus 2ab minus 2 times 2y times 1 plus b square that is 1 square and in the right hand side the square and square root gets cancelled so we will get 2y plus 5. In the next step we can write 4y square minus 4y plus 1 minus 2y minus 5 is equals to 0. In the next step 4y square minus 4y and minus 2y is minus 6y and plus 1 is minus 5 is minus 4 that is equals to 0. Now let's divide by 2. So we will get 2y square minus 3y minus 2 is equals to 0. Now we will factorize this. So to factorize this we will take 2y square minus minus 3y can be written as minus 4y plus y minus 2 is equals to 0. In the next step, let's take common 2y, so it will be y minus 2, plus from here, let's take 1, so it will be y minus 2 is equals to 0. Let's take common y minus 2, so it will be 2y plus 1 equals to 0. From this, we can write y minus 2 equals to 0, and 2y plus 1 is equals to 0. So from here, it will be y is equals to 2, and here it will be y equals to minus half. So we have two values for y one is 2 and other is minus half. Now let's verify these values. So let's put y equals to 2. So it will be 2 times 2 and in the right hand side it will be root under 2 times 2 plus 5 plus 1. In the left hand side we will get 4 and in the right hand side 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 5 is 9 and root 9 is 3. So it will be 3 plus 1 which is 4. So y equals to 2 satisfied the equation. So it could be a solution. And let's put y equals to minus half. So it will be 2 times minus half is equals to root under 2 times minus half plus 5 plus 1. In the left hand side we will get minus 1 and in the right hand side we will get root under minus 1 plus 5 plus 1. And it will be 4 plus 1 and it will be 2 plus 1. And 2 plus 1 is 3. But in the left hand side we have 1. So minus 1 cannot be equals to 3, so this could not be a solution. So our only solution is y is equals to 2. Thanks for watching.